Hi, this is Mrs. La Barbara. This is Physics Chapter Four, Two Dimensional Motion Force, uh, Video One. Today's topic is characteristics of a projectile's trajectory. The objectives are to know the definition of projectile, to understand effect of air resistance on the path of projectile, to understand that the path of projectile is the result of inertia and gravity, to understand a projectile has two components. They are independent of each other. Be able to describe motion in both horizontal and vertical directions. Be able to sketch motion graphs in both horizontal and vertical directions. What is a projectile? A projectile is an object that is launched into air with some initial velocity. It can be launched at any angle. It is in free fall after launch, and its path is a parabola. So this is a path of projectile. On this path, at any point, the only force acting on it is gravity, because on this path, the projectile is in free fall. Gravity produces gravitational acceleration, so both gravity and gravitational acceleration is pointing downward toward the center of the Earth. A projectile moves in two dimensions, vertical and horizontal. In a vertical direction, the projectile is in free fall after it is launched. The only force acting on it is gravity, causing vertical acceleration. Looks like this, like when you drop the ball. Okay, this is vertical motion of the projectile. In the horizontal motion, is due to inertia. When you give it a push in the beginning, it is going to move in the horizontal direction. It has no horizontal force, no horizontal acceleration. So in the horizontal direction, it moves with a constant velocity. The combination of a vertical and a horizontal gives you the parabolic path. Here's horizontal, here's vertical. So the path is parabolic. Effect of air resistance. So as you can see in a graph on the left, ideal projectile, and this is projectile with air resistance. Ideal projectile for horizontally launched projectile and and. The red path is the path with air resistance. So you can see air resistance will shorten the horizontal distance in both cases, but only shorten the height if projectile is launched from ground, not launched horizontally though. Horizontal components. In the horizontal motion, there is no force. The motion is due to inertia. There is no acceleration, so velocity in the horizontal direction is constant. That gives us only one equation. By the way, when we apply equations, we have to separate horizontal and vertical. When we, we can only use horizontal components in the horizontal equation and the vertical components in the vertical equation. So in the horizontal direction, the projectile is moving with horizontal velocity. Here is dt graph, vt graph, and at graph. In dt graph, slope is velocity. Since slope is constant, so the line is straight. Slope is constant. Vx is constant. So in the Vx versus t graph, that is a horizontal line. In the Ax versus t graph, Ax is zero. So the graph is on the zero line. In a vertical direction, the only force acting on it is gravity. Gravity is downward, hence you have a negative. This negative indicator is downward. Uh, acceleration is downward, negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Here are the two equations we can use to find velocity and displacement. So in vertical direction, the projectile is in free fall with constant acceleration. So in D, dyt, v, vyt, and ayt, the graph looks like this. In dyt, the slope represents velocity. So velocity means when, because acceleration is negative g, that, that means as the projectile goes up, its uh, uh, velocity is going to decrease. So it looks like this. If this is at the very top, the slope is a zero. That means velocity equals to zero, then it starts to turn back down. Your slope is increasing in the negative direction. Vy, as you go up, you have a big velocity, positive, becomes zero as it goes up, then turns around, coming back in the negative direction, getting bigger and bigger. 
Ay is just a negative constant. Negative constant looks like this. Let's take a look at this practice. Fill in the blank. So force, present, yes or no. In the horizontal direction, there is no force. Therefore, there is no acceleration. Velocity is constant. In vertical motion, the vertical motion is gravity downward. Make sure you put a downward here. Acceleration is negative g. Negative means downward. Velocity is changing by negative 9.81 meters per second every second. That means as you go up, you will decrease your velocity. As you come down, you will increase your velocity. Let's take a look at this example. A student throws a 5 Newton ball straight up. What is the net force on the ball at its maximum height? So because this is a projectile during its path, the only force acting on it is gravity. So in this case, gravity equals to the weight of the ball is 5 Newtons. So the answer is 5 Newtons. Not only at a maximum height, as a matter of fact, at any point, at all points of its path, the force is 5 Newtons downward. Another example, on the diagram, draw an arrow to represent the direction of net force on the ball when it is at position X. Label the arrow F net. Remember that the only force is gravity, so only force is downward. Gravity is always going down. Gravity produces gravitational acceleration, so draw an arrow to represent the direction of acceleration of the ball at Y, since gravitational acceleration is also downward. Another example, on the diagram below, sketch the path of the ball's flight from its initial position at point P until it returns to level ground. So the path of projectile is a parabola, so it looks similar to this. Example, explain why the projectile has no acceleration in the horizontal direction. Well, acceleration is defined as change of velocity over time, but acceleration is produced by net force. It has no acceleration in horizontal direction because there is no horizontal force, no horizontal net force. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.